Hey, my name is Mark Peterson. I teach uh, biology and biomedical science at uh, Biddle St. Margaret School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I'm going to give you a short uh, primer as far as my, my experience with argument-driven inquiry. Uh, first of all, argument-driven inquiry for me started out as a noun, and now it's really, really become a verb. Uh, it's something that we just do. It's just something uh, that we use quite frequently. Uh, my experience began with uh, publication on the left, scientific argumentation. I moved to argument-driven inquiry. Uh, the first experience that I had was with an activity from that scientific argumentation about Dust Bowl, trying to survive the Dust Bowl with limited resources. And uh, one of the cool things about it is that there's no right answer. Maybe it's a best answer. Then I moved into argument-driven inquiry in, in biology, uh, where you have the ability to do some blood typing with simulated blood, and you're trying to prove or disprove uh, parenthood, fatherhood, and it's kind of interesting. It's kind of kind of some gray stuff that really is about uh, genetics. Um, in there, there's also some modeling about the structure of DNA, but I've also gone beyond these, like, uh, resources, uh, the argument-driven inquiry uh, samples into making my own. So the business of providing students with real-time data, in this case about planaria and cell membranes, or this is something I modified from PBS and marathon mice and mitochondria, uh, to looking at some physical science stuff related to forces and football helmets. So I've really shifted the business of using things right from the book to kind of modifying all kinds of other activities to become argument-driven inquiry types of work for students. All right, some problem solving. I've really seen uh, students making great strides in problem solving uh, with regards to looking at data. There's so much data around them, and whether it's data that they have uh, collected themselves, so rising yeast beads in a rate reaction lab or uh, data sets that maybe I've come across somewhere that I want to share and turn it into um, an authentic problem solving experience. Students are really good by the end of a year with me at analyzing data uh, and coming to claims and justifying those things. Uh, collaboration, uh, you can pause this and just read through there, but Collaboration is everything from the laboratory experience to giving each other feedback, some actionable feedback. So students get uh, practice at that uh, with some feedback from me and they become really proficient at it um, in the course of time. Uh, as far as timing, uh, you can use argument-driven inquiry anytime. You can use it for formative assessment. So think about arguing from evidence uh, as uh, one of the science practices, the science and engineering practices from NGSS. Um, it's, it's a great way to just over time keep hammering that home. Uh, I also use that as a summative uh, assessment uh, from time to time. Um, time management, uh, routines. You got to have routines. Uh, the sooner you set up routines, whether it's how students set up whiteboards or how they're going to convert data into evidence, those are routines that you need to work with your students on um, and, and do it with frequency. Uh, some advice kind of related to the routines. You got to go slow so you can go fast. So at the beginning of a, a beginning of a semester, beginning of a year, um, there's, a, there's a lot of instruction. There's a lot of feedback to get students better uh, with regards to designing experiments or the writing that they're doing and their justification or reasoning statements. Uh, trust your students' curiosity so that once you've done the modeling of here's what an ADI uh, experience looks like that they can start creating their own as the year goes along. Again, that's you got to go slow at the beginning so they can go fast and do it by themselves. And then lots of feedback, actionable feedback. How do they get better? How is the continuous improvement just happening over and over and over again? Whether it's in their work that they're doing, setting up labs, uh, or whether it's their writing, um, working all the way through the all the different steps of an argument-driven inquiry experience from having an investigative question to uh, designing a lab to doing some writing to getting some feedback to the iterative uh, business of just making that better so um, some maybe some sound advice and again the idea that argument driven inquiry to me uh, is a verb and it's not a noun so anyway hope that helps mm -hmm.